with delight. Today we're going to make a nice hot pot of seafood gumbo. It is full of flavor with a whole bunch of shrimp and sausage and crabs and herbs. Mmm, it's going to be so good, y'all. All right, ready? Let's get cooking. All right, in the large pot over medium heat, I'm, I have six tablespoons of canola oil heating up and we're going to add in a half a cup of all-purpose flour and this is going to be our roux. See how that flour just, just sizzling in the oil? And then with my wooden spoon, we're going to stir this until our roux becomes a nice caramel color. Be careful not to burn your roux because you're going to have to start all over again. It will burn so quickly. All right, now after our roux becomes a caramel color, I added my onions and stir it up. I'm going to let this cook for about five minutes. All right, our five minutes are up. So next we add in my other vegetables, which is the celery and the bell peppers. And we're going to let this cook together for about another five minutes. All right, our trinity is nice and soft. So next we're going to add in our shrimp stock. All right, now we're going to add in one cup of crushed tomatoes. One pound of sausage, cut up. Four blue crabs. Look at those blue crabs, aren't they beautiful? And our seasonings. I'm using one teaspoon of garlic powder, one tablespoon of ground thyme, plus one bay leaf. Two teaspoons of kosher salt and one teaspoon of pepper. And all we do is just give it a good stir. And we're going to let our gumbo slowly simmer for 45 minutes. It's going to be good, y'all. All right, I'll see y'all back here in a minute. All right, it's been 45 minutes. Look at our gumbo just simmering. I can smell the aroma in this kitchen. All right, so next we're going to add in our final ingredients, which is one bunch of green onions that I chopped up. You, you want the white and the green part. Going to add in our shrimp. I'm using one pound of shrimp already peeled in the vein. More salt and pepper to taste. And our hot sauce. We're gonna use six dashes. There we go. And we're gonna let this cook for another five to seven minutes until our shrimp is nice and pink. All right, I finished cooking my gumbo. Look how good that looks. Look, look at the pretty green from the green onions and the shrimp and the crab is nice and pink. OMG. I love me some gumbo. I can't wait to give this a taste. All right, I fixed me up a bowl. Look at that deliciousness right there. Doesn't that look good? All right, here we go. Now be careful not to burn yourself, still a little hot. Mmm. I'm in flavor heaven. Mmm. <laughs> this is really good, y'all. The gumbo is full of flavor. I love the shrimp and the crabs and the sausage. Oh, it's just delicious. Now, you don't have to go to New Orleans for great gumbo. You can cook it right here in the comfort of your own kitchen. Grab your shrimp. Mm. <laughs> mm. Shrimp is nice to cook, sweet, and tender. And I'll post a complete recipe down below in the description box. Before we end this video, I just want to give y'all a great big thank you. Ellen's Home and Delights have reached 800 subscribers. Can you believe 200 more than we'd be at 1,000? Holy moly. <laughs> but anyway, I just want to thank y'all so much for tuning in and checking out my delicious recipes. And I'm looking forward to making more cooking videos in the coming future. Well, I want to thank you for joining me in the kitchen today. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. Don't forget to share this with your family and friends. Like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And I want to welcome to all my new subscribers and all my old subscribers. Thank you so much for tuning in. And I'll see y'all on my next video. Let's eat.